Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited because Keychron sent me this keyboard. It is the Q5 HE wireless keyboard. It's the latest QMK custom keyboard from Keychron featuring double rail magnetic Gateron Nebula switches. And I'm a huge fan of Keychron. I have actually several of their keyboards. This is the K1, I believe. And the PC behind me has a Keychron keyboard. My Mac Studio over there has a Keychron keyboard. I'm a big fan of Keychron and I've put a lot of my own money into Keychron because I'm not a fan of the Apple solutions for keyboard. For example, when you buy a new Mac Pro, they, they come with this crappy keyboard. If you buy Apple's Pro keyboard, you are very familiar with how flimsy that thing is at quite a high cost. And instead of getting that, you should get something like this. We're gonna unbox this and check it out and see what this thing looks like, how it performs, and some of its features. The first thing I notice when I'm pulling this out of the box is how heavy this thing is. This literally feels like Mjolnir and feels like I need to be worthy to actually even lift this thing up. It's so heavy. Come on, Cap. And that's because this is made from 6063 aluminum, which is known for its increased durability, stability, and premium feel. In terms of keyboards, there really is no other way to go. This thing is beautiful. It's a work of art and it's heavy and premium and everything about it makes you want to use it. It really just puts all of those keyboards from Apple and other competitors to shame when you think about having this on your desk for a keyboard setup. Ooh, <laughs> that's awesome. This is one of the best feeling keyboard switches I've ever felt. So these are the red switches in the K1. And they're they're pretty good. They're pretty silent, um, but they're they definitely aren't. They definitely don't feel as dampened as these do. And so the, these Nebula switches. Oh man! I mean the the closest thing I can think of when I'm listening to this and feeling it is like typing on marshmallows. It's just got a nice, soft, pleasing feel. I love that this 96% layout keyboard actually has features these extra keys at the top here these customizable keys. So you've got this rotating dial that also pushes in that you could set for different custom functions. And then you've got these three keys up here. So just first impression so far is this is probably the most premium keyboard I can think of. There is one other keyboard that I really love. It's this one that I have for my Mac Studio. I got this a long time ago and I've, I've always had this plugged into my Mac over there. and. This keyboard is just as premium and feels just as solid. It's another Keychron. It's a Q something. I can't remember what, what the exact model number is, but I'll put a link to that one in the description as well. But I've used this with my Mac Studio for actually, it's been a few years and it's this one is very simple. It's not wireless, it's just a straight USB-C. Um, but this one, you can see the size difference here. <laughs> so heavy so you can see the size difference between these two right here so this one being 96 percent i really think this is a great alternative to some of the other full-size keyboards i've seen before i do like that it stacks the delete button and the page up page down in the home button there and so this comes this will arrive to you set up for mac with the command keys here instead of the alt keys, but it does come with those extra keycaps so you can switch it out. There's a simple switch on the back to go between Mac or Windows. Right now it's set to Windows, and then if you switch over here, it goes to Mac. It has the three different ways to power this keyboard. So right now in the middle, it's set to USB, and then to the right, it's Bluetooth, and then to the left, it's the 2.4 gig connection mode. And so this keyboard does have full RGB as well which is nice and it's fully customizable. Just listen to that, man. That sounds so good. This is like the most pleasing keyboard ever. I mean, I would just buy one just to type on it without plugging it in because it 
just reduces my anxiety. The other thing they sent me was a palm rest, so we're gonna check that out right now. I've used keyboards like this without a palm rest, and it's perfectly fine and comfortable, in my opinion. But let's just see how this palm rest looks and feels. Ooh. Yeah, that feels nice. So this is the Keychron Palm Rest, and it's like a soft, rubbery plastic material. It has the Keychron logo on it. Ooh, this thing pairs perfectly with the keyboard, and it honestly has got a nice premium feel, so you can see how these would stack up together like so. Yeah, that matches up perfectly, too. It feels really nice. Let's hook this up to my PC over here. I'm gonna swap out the old keyboard. Let me show you my old. This is the old Keychron keyboard that I'm using over there. It's the C1. So this is the C1 and it's it's on the lower end of the Keychron keyboards. It's more like a plasticky feel um, but this has been connected to my PC behind me for quite a while and I really like this keyboard but I think I'm definitely going to change it up and since it does have kind of a similar look I'm gonna swap it out with this one, the Q5. So this was a great upgrade from the Keychron C1 that I had previously. It looks really good with my PC setup and that knob on the right by default controls your volume level and that is completely customizable when you have it connected to your PC. You go to launcher.keychron.com and from there you can control everything from the RGB settings and you can tweak it to your own liking how bright it is, uh, the different kinds of cycles for the RGB colors. And then from here, you can also update the firmware, which I did, which was very simple. It walks you through the entire process. And what I really love too, is you're able to control the actual actuation points of each key if you want. You can customize the keys to do exactly what you want it to do because these, these switches are designed for the most minute of finessing. So here I can control the stage of the key or you can have different key responsiveness. So you can control when it actually activates a certain action based on how far the key is traveling. And also when you double that with the gasket, double gasket design, it creates a very soft, pleasing experience that creates the smoothest operation and very silent operation, I must add. And after I tweaked this keyboard to my liking, I have to say that my performance actually increased in some of these games I was playing. I seem to be doing a lot better. And being able to control something like the exact actuation point is really nice because with that, you can even tweak you know, for example, with the W, you can barely push it and you'll be walking. And then when you push it all the way down, you'll be running. You, It has that much customization. It's pretty cool. For those of you that really like to tweak your keyboard, you can do that. Now, by default, it's perfectly fine if you don't want to mess with that. It performs perfectly and is very responsive. But it's nice to know you can add some more speed to your keyboard. And now here on the Mac side, it's the exact same. If you go to that launcher app, you can do that and customize it to your liking. And for productivity, this thing is phenomenal. Like I said before, this is the perfect upgrade from the Apple Pro keyboard. I recommend you ditch that thing and buy one of these. I'll have links down below to check out the Keychron Q5. Thanks for stopping by today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I drop new content. And I'll see all of you guys on my next video.